warning has had an influence on women. Who would have thought? <laughs> 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 One of seven brothers, of course, Shaheen Sharafridi. His other brother, Riaz, was a very formidable bowler, terrific first-class record. You know, when he was young, if Pakistan lost a test match, he didn't eat for two days. Mm. What did you do when New Zealand lost, Smithy? <laughs> <laughs> that is a seriously early punch. <laughs> Here we are, Keith. <laughs> you ate for 48 hours. That's more than a jab. <laughs> that vision is of uh, the non-striker... Frank Worrell, or as he's known at Fox, Wank Forrell. <laughs> <laughs> Hello to Brendan Julian. And there's no better spot. There's a bit of cloud cover. It's actually smoke. Warney's having a durry up there. <laughs> <laughs> try, try to induce precipitation. This is Wank at the non strikers end. <laughs> so you, you can roll in again, shippers, and we, we can have a look at yeah. it. Very unemotional, as Brendan Julian would know. <laughs> It's like the blind man at an orgy. You're just going to feel your way around it. <laughs> the hairs on the back of my back. Uh... Boy, you're on a head skull. Let's you got a hair on your back. Look, let's have a look. What, what was going on? There's none on your head, so you've reverted the one on your back, have you? I'm Wolverine. <laughs> I dreamt it last night. I had a lot of dreams, but this was one of them. <laughs> I got out of bed and had a shower, but there you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we best leave that alone. We best leave that alone. Kerry, yeah. it's been... They replaced a soggy tomato yeah. with a purple shot they port. They did. <laughs> the home of cricket. The moment it hit the first bat, it broke. <laughs> it broke me in the lounge yeah, room. No, I'm not bringing any conspiracy for you, but the last game oh. was the Oval. The two people that are running English cricket at the minute, Richard Gould, Richard Thompson, they're the ex-CEO <laughs> and chairman of the Oval, oh. the Surrey County Cricket. So they know the keys. They know which kind of oh. doors to go in and replace the, the ball. The other big talking point was the stumping, run-out, dismissal, call what you like, of Johnny Bairstow. The repercussions are still being felt <laughs> about this. Skull, you're sitting home watching. Are you giving him out? Of course I am. Right. Exactly. You treat the popping crease as Julian Assange treated the Ecuadorian embassy. You yes. just don't leave it. <laughs> <laughs> You've been sitting on that one. I have. You've been sitting on that one. It's unsafe. <laughs> you get arrested. Johnny Besto was arrested and he said, I'm innocent. I don't care. And the thing was, you know, Swampy's best shot was the little nerdle to third man for a single. <laughs> his, son, his son doesn't do nerdle. <laughs> well, mate, Smithy's lost his hands again. If you see him on eBay, contact the Australian dressing room at the Melbourne Cricket Ground. If I could talk technically, Jim, this pitch is drier than a teetotaler's Christmas. <laughs> it's so slow, we don't measure the pace off it with a speed gun, we use an hourglass. <laughs> After a game, the urine testers came in and I had to give a sample, but Nurse Lorraine was in the room. Yes. And then she left. And I can pee freely now, Lorraine has gone. <laughs> In 1976, I'd been out of the team for two and a half years. I was recalled against Pakistan. I went off alcohol for a month. I arrived here. I netted strongly the morning before the game, uh, the day before. I went to lunch and, and Rod Maher said to me, what are you doing this afternoon, Skull? I said, I'm going to my room and visualising getting wickets tomorrow. He said, well, you're coming to the West End Brewery to visualise drinking eight hours of piss with us. <laughs> <laughs> So I did! <laughs> and they carried my body ceremonially burial style through the foyer of the hotel <laughs> at midnight. The next morning I was in these dressing rooms downstairs and I was having an up and under. And people people <laughs> said, gee, Skull's nervous. <laughs> nah! <laughs> It's 45 degrees, we walk out, we're bowling, and I'm at Gully, and the first over I dropped a catch, I couldn't see it. 
had a blood alcohol of the 0 0.22 and the crowd started chanting mallet, mallet, because they wanted actually mallet in the team and I was chanting it too because <laughs> I wanted him out there. <laughs> anyway, Jeff Thompson runs into the bat pad and breaks his, breaks his shoulder and somebody said, who's going to bowl? I said, what about Skull? So they threw me the ball and I dropped it. <laughs> I normally took nine paces. I got to seven and I just said, oh, I'm knackered. I dropped the disc. I thought, right, there's the black, there's the guy in the black pants. When I get near him, let it go. So I'm <laughs> wobbling in and I got wickets. And, and Javed Miandad came in and we're in the huddle. Somebody said, they reckon this guy will get 10,000 test runs. And I said, he'll get a thousand off me today. <laughs> 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 and in the next over, Javid Nyandan pushed forward, made a fatal mistake, played for spin. <laughs> Middle stop. <laughs> <laughs> and in the, in the dressing room later, uh, uh, Doug Walters said to me, are you having a beer? I said, no. I said, if you stay munted, you'll get five for it in the second <laughs> tier. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's 16, is he? He's 16. He's got a 21-year-old girlfriend already. Oh, wow. And there was a survey done in the UK. 2,000 people were asked about sports people who were the best in bed. Darts players are the best in bed. Luke the Nuke has got a huge career ahead of it. He's the new Pele. Did you see him? The, the, the new Pele. Did Pelle. you see him? He couldn't pull a bird in an aviary. <laughs> I think missing was you weren't next to me, Smithy. <laughs> oh, oh. That would have been goal, wouldn't it? Abdullah should beat to come. Excuse me, Mark. I yeah, noticed yeah. the way you moved a little slow there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it's not. But not, mate, not a good combination when you can't oh, see and you've got arthritis and you've, you you've know, got a bag 60. of fruit. You're 58. You've got the years RMs on. Yeah. You've but got makeup on. I was disappointed not to catch it by the same token. You're blind. No. <laughs> <laughs> What's makeup got to do with it? You've got a form guide in your hip pocket. Yeah. <laughs> You've got the radio for wireless scratching and they ask you to take a catch. No, no, it's difficult. It's difficult, isn't it? You're right. It's impossible. Oh, it's possible. Oh, Has yeah. Kim got one race seven? Oh, hang on. Catch. Yeah, yeah no. Easily or not. Let there not be a wicket in this over, please. <laughs> <laughs> this is too good. Yeah, no, I was distracted, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Bradman was judged on his last innings. It's sad. I mean, you were judged on your last catch. Look at this sucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Lucky I'm... to get a hand to it. <laughs> well, got it very high. On... Oh, he's well, surrounded by security. <laughs> you forget the hundred people he runs into on the walk from the hotel to the oh, ground. Yeah, oh, mate. Yeah. I had a gozeme on the way back. What? A, a gozeme. Is that a Turkish G -O -Z -E -M -E. No, it's like a Chicken little... Tur yeah, Turkish yeah. thing? It's a Turkish thing. It's yeah. like a... Gozleme. A gozleme. Yeah. Jeez. Thanks. I where he was talking about then. Yeah. Thanks, boss. Gozeme. Yeah. And about 20 people <laughs> ate it with me because by the time I got it, there was 20 selfies and I had one piece left in mine. Go, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Take my gozeme. Gozeme. <laughs> I've never heard of a go go Gosling, mate, you, you Gosling. How do you not hear if you ordered it? I saw it on the sign, Gos <laughs> Gosimo. Anyway, the owner took a photo of me with it. She didn't know who I was. <laughs> it's the only one he sold me. <laughs> 67 over, <laughs> gone, six for 205. Uh, it's a special day because people come for it. It's a reunion day. And there's a buzz in the crowd prior to the first ball. And everybody watches the first session and then they go drinking out the back. <laughs> so keep the crowd shots tight for the second and third session. <laughs> but don't you want a climax? No, come on. What was I supposed to do? I'd like one. <laughs> but not from Marcus Stoinis. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>